Sermat knows absolutely nothing about web push, so asked me to give this micro tip. When developers start working with web push, it's not entirely obvious how you can test the logic in your push event. For example, you might send different kinds of payload and you want to see how your push event handles it. So instead of sending actual push messages, here's a simple little trick to testing the logic inside your push event. In Chrome, go to a website that's set up to work with push, open up DevTools and go to the console tab. From here, you can change the context from top to your service worker. Now, after you've done this, any commands that you type in will actually be entered and run in your service worker. Now, this enables us to dispatch our own fake push events, and they'll act just like a normal push message would. So for example, we can fake a push message with no data by running self.dispatch event, new push event, push. Now, this is cool, but it's really useful when you start adding data, which we can do by passing in an object into our push events constructor with a data parameter. For example, to emulate a JSON payload, I'm just passing in json.stringify, some data, and we can see how the push event would handle this. Now with this, you can start testing different kinds of data that you'd actually send, as well as different edge cases, perhaps like where you're sending payloads that you weren't actually expecting. So good luck with your testing, and thanks for watching. If you're having withdrawal symptoms of Paul and Soma, you can watch more Supercharged here. But if you subscribe to the channel above, you can watch a much better show called Totally Twirling Tips featuring myself and Addy. Thank you.